the marketable securities broker balance. Now, a lot of you enter in monthly transactions. So you get a year's worth of broker statements and you start plunking away in those uh, individual securities, the transactions. I just did that actually for my company. And what I noticed that I was doing there was I was entering in the information and then I was going back up to the top and comparing the balance in the broker reconciliation to what my statement said. So I found myself bouncing around in this thing quite a bit and it wasn't very convenient. So what we have done is this area up here is new. This closing balance then is the broker reconciliation balance. And if I click on it, it actually takes me to the broker reconciliation so you see the amount there. So now as I'm entering things, once I get all my stuff done, I can just look up here and compare it to the broker statement and go, yep, everything is in. Okay, so that's good. The other thing we did here is if you have foreign exchange turned on, so let me just say I am using it just for a moment, this becomes two balances. So it actually is showing you the FX balance and I haven't got any rates in here, but it'll show you both up in here. So if you want to see either one of those, that's going to be available up in the freeze frame, which I think is, is handy.